everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. And in today's video, I've got a really quick post-vacation meal prep session. I'm making breakfast and snacks for the week. So we just got back from Cedar Point and let me tell you, it was a lot of fun, but I am exhausted. So much stuff going on. And then of course there's a three hour drive to get home. So we didn't get back from Cedar Point until like four o'clock in the afternoon. And then we had small group immediately afterward. So that means I did not have any time to get my typical meal prep done that I do on Sunday afternoons, which means it is currently Monday morning as I'm recording this and I got to get some stuff done because we need breakfast. Now as you've probably seen from my other videos, meal prep does not have to be labor intensive and it does not have to take three hours. If all you do for the week is like make a batch of pancakes or some sort of a breakfast, then you've succeeded in meal prep and that's basically what I'm doing today. All I am doing is making banana bread baked oatmeal, two batches of it actually for me and John for breakfast this week. And then I'm also washing strawberries and grapes for some snacks and lunches. I mean, that is it. It's gonna take maybe 20 to 25 minutes of actual hands-on stuff and then 40 minutes of baking and that's it. We're gonna have breakfast and snacks for the week. So I've got the oven preheating right now. Let me show you what I've got going on here and we'll get started. Here are all the ingredients I need for the baked oatmeal. As you can see, these bananas are definitely ready. I've even been sitting out for a few days now, but they're the perfect condition for baked oatmeal or banana bread. There's all the ingredients. Here are my grapes and my strawberries. I'll be washing those as soon as this goes in the oven. So let's get to it. So there are a few reasons why I love meal prep and why I do it every single week. And one is because it saves money. If you do some sort of a meal prep every single week, if you make breakfast for the week, then you are not tempted to go out to the drive through or something and get a breakfast sandwich, which will inevitably cost more than making like a batch of oatmeal. Secondly, it saves on sanity because who wants to sit there and prepare a breakfast every single morning? If you do this ahead of time and make enough to last a week, I mean, you're gonna save all sorts of stress on yourself every single morning and it's also going to save you time because honestly you don't have a whole lot of time in the mornings depending on whether you work outside the home or if you have kids you need to get them ready and stuff it's just so much easier to have breakfast ahead of time already prepared that way you can just heat it up and eat it baked oatmeal is a super easy recipe because all you do is put together all the ingredients and well, the dry in one bowl, the wet in another bowl, mix it all together and then you bake it. It's like 40 minutes of hands off work. I know I've said this quite a few times before, but as soon as a banana starts to get a little bit of brown on it, I simply can't eat it. I, I just, I can't eat it as a plain banana. I have to freeze it or like immediately put it in something like this. I don't know. Um, I like bananas to be somewhat firm and not really all that soft and not like horribly sweet. Cause you know, once it starts getting those little brown spots, it starts getting sweeter, which is perfect for baking, but not necessarily for me to eat. And I think a few of you have told me that before as well that you only like bananas when they are like pretty much all yellow and maybe even a tiny bit green. So I know I'm not the only one out there. I have to keep reminding myself that I am doubling the recipe. I've got the recipe right in front of me but it's only for a single batch. So there have actually been times when like it calls for one and a half cups of milk, but I'm supposed to double it and then forget. So I only put a cup and a half in there instead of the three cups that it needs and then it produces not so great results. 
Now, one thing I am doing differently, if you looked at the recipe link down there, is that I'm using honey instead of maple syrup like it calls for. I mean, either one will work just fine. It's just that I am kind of running low on maple syrup, but I have plenty of honey. So I'm just trying to use the honey first. And then if you want to, you can add like a tiny bit of maple syrup on top of your baked oatmeal when you're ready to eat it. Kind of like what you would pancakes or waffles or something. It just adds a little bit of extra sweetness to it. Or you could do what I do and add my baked oatmeal to a bowl and then pour milk on top of it and then put some extra like sliced bananas in there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't heard of people putting milk inside their baked oatmeal until like recently. And I guess I just mean like, you know, putting it in a bowl and pouring milk on top. Uh, and I guess it makes sense because when you make oatmeal, I mean, you put milk in your oatmeal and some people actually put extra milk like in it once it's done cooking. So I don't know, make it um, less thick, I guess. So it makes sense. Now that it's all mixed together, I've got my two eight by eights here. And then just try to put it in, divide it as evenly as possible. And then we'll bake it for probably about 40, I think 40 minutes is what it says. Um, sometimes you may need a little bit extra, but 40 should do it. All right, these look good. Let's get these in the oven and then we'll work on the grapes and the strawberries. Next up is the strawberries. Now I've shown you how I do my strawberries before, but again, I always put a little bit of vinegar in a bowl. It's usually like one part vinegar to nine parts water. I'll fill this up with water in a second and then we'll just add the strawberries to it and let it soak for between seven and 10 minutes. And the great thing about doing it this way is that my strawberries tend to keep they stay fresh for up to a week or so by doing this. So I let it soak and then I put them all into like a storage container, put it in the fridge and it does last about a week or so. And then while the strawberries are soaking, we can now work on the grapes. So it used to be that I never prepared grapes ahead of time. I would always just pull out what I needed and then wash them before I eat them. But then I realized that if I did that, then John wouldn't usually take them to work with him because he likes to be able to just grab things out of the fridge and then just put it in his lunchbox. So I started doing it this way sometime last year, I think it was, and it has made a huge difference. Like we are actually eating all of the grapes now. If I didn't wash them beforehand, I would honestly waste a few of them because we just wouldn't think about washing them each time we wanted to eat it and we forget about it or get lazy and then they would just go bad. So this way we're pretty much guaranteed to use up all of the grapes. So I just put them into a colander here and then I run it under water for a little bit just to rinse it all off and then just like the strawberries I put them into a an airtight storage container and these grapes stay good for probably a week and a half to two weeks. And then just like the grapes, once the strawberries are finished, I'm just gonna put them in the colander here, rinse them off. Then I'm gonna put them on a towel to dry for a little bit, and then I'll stick them in the container.
I feel so much better knowing that we have breakfast available for us in the mornings now. That way all we have to do is pull it out of the fridge, heat it up, and eat it. It is just that simple. And if you find yourself really low on time throughout the week, I highly recommend doing something like this. It only takes what, like I said, 20, 25 minutes to put it together, and then the rest of it is hands off. If you can do one thing this week, that would be maybe making breakfast or even a snack to take with you throughout the week when you're at work or on the go or whatever, that's going to help you out tremendously. So leave me a comment and tell me what is one thing you are going to do this week to make your life easier with meal prep. As always, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and ring that bell down there and that way you'll be notified whenever my other videos like this come out, as well as my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.